Hello everyone, my name is Arsene and uh, thank you all for tuning in and uh, thank you to the MIX organizing committee for getting all this together in such a short notice. Kudos to you guys. Now, uh, based on an estimate from, based on estimates from uh, the economic analysts, the black market could account for 10% of a developed country's economy and a third of a developing country's economy. A similar research conducted in uh, 2011 points out that if the black market was appropriately taxed in the, in, in the United States, it would have brought $400 billion to $500 billion country's economy. Similar to the, to the previous, to the first um, stipulation, the IMF, uh, the, the IMF points out that the United States GDP could increase by 40, 14 to 15% when adding the black market to the GDP uh, calculation. And this percentage would increase when um, when uh, if, if the same was done to an emerging country, the GDP of, of such countries would jump to 35, uh, from 35 to 44 percent. Now, all of this is that the black market could have on the economy of a country and the economy of the world, which is what we're, we're trying to, to look into here. First of all, what's the dark web? You might all be familiar with that. Now, the dark web actually accounts for a really small portion of the web. And it is almost, almost similar to the surface web. The surface web, as you can see here on this picture, the surface web represents the web, uh, the part of the web that you and I use, which is just like the Google, YouTube, and all the like. Anyone could access. Now, on the deep web, which accounts for a much bigger portion of the web, actually mostly contains records, records, network, and all of that, which are some of some of which are indexed by um, uh, browsing software like Google from the surface web. Now, the dark web requires a special type of software to browse through. It is uh, it is actually it's actually hard to track anybody using the dark web. Hard but not difficult. However, like I mentioned earlier, it requires a special type of software for that, like Tor and Onion. Um, and as a result of the under the radar as the nature of the dark web. It makes it very uh, useful for the black market. In addition to that, you have the Bitcoin. The Bitcoin also help make transactions hard to track. To track the trans um, uh, trans banking transactions back to the user. It is, again, it is hard, but not difficult. But these are some of the reasons why the dark web and the bit and Bitcoins very useful in the black market, or for the black market to flourish in the web. Now you will all be fam familiar with um, data being stolen. Data has been stolen and been sold. Where is that data been sold? The data could be sold in the dark web. And what you would hear, it would be sold in the black market in the dark web. Now, when when you hear of data bridges, companies take it very seriously because they're uh, not only their reputation, but also the information of their customers is at stake here. It is, there's a very high likelihood for this information to be sold in the dark web, which would be bad for their, for the company itself, and could cost even a, low, a lot more money. 
to the customer what happens with this with this in information though this information could be sold back uh, this this information could also be used to conduct further attacks such as what was pointed out by the research conducted by crow uk on 50 uh, businesses that they research on in the uk 50 of the top businesses in the uk 23 of them were affected by the dark web. As you, can, as you can see on this table, the different business areas affected by this. And the numbers on the, on the right are the breakdown of the 23 businesses affected, which was mainly through uh, counterfeit being present in the dark web, similar products from the companies present in the dark web, or in the black market or or information stolen from these companies being found in the dark web in the transportation and energy for, for example user user accounts or user heart uh, user accounts could be used to access their bank accounts and financial information and the and what is gotten out of this could be sold back and give a second life to, uh, to, to some other person who purchases this information or purchases this accesses. Things like trans, uh, transportation, the same research points out uh, a lot of this involves the selling of things like travel points, mileage, which would help people who buy this to get the, the trip of their lifetime. And the same thing with te telecommunications. A lot of these uh, uh, areas have been attacked in order to attain the banking and finance information, which in most cases are the main goal of the attacker. Now let's look at let's look at a much more global um, perspective of the black market and the dark web. We realize that with the web, one is connected to the rest of the world. Without that, you stay local. That was the case for the black market before the dark web came up. Now, with the advent of the dark web, the black market is. Black market, black market businesses are able to flourish beyond their geographical lo location, such as what we can see here. Like already, some of these uh, these are these are um, um, the top ten. These are, these are some, some of the, like the, the top ten um, areas of the black black mar market, and this research conducted by uh, the Global Financial Integrity um, uh, came up with these numbers. Some of these areas are already global by nature, such as organ trafficking, trafficking, tra uh, trafficking cultural pro property, light weapon, crude oil, illegal wildlife. Some of these are already um, global by nature but now with the dark web it's much more easier to reach out to their customers to reach out to customers it is much more easier to operate under the the red radar and with the use of the bitcoin it is much more easier to be untraceable as much as possible although not impossible again the same research points out that if all of this was summed up and including human trafficking, it would amount to $2.2 trillion. This is still at a global, we are, we are at a global scale. And this was the research con con conducted in 2012. So it will be interesting again to see how these numbers look like nowadays 
Now let's move forward to another research conducted by the Institute for Applied Economic Research at the University of Tübingen in Germany. This point, this shows the uh, uh, the revenue of the black market as a percentage of the GDP of the country is in which they are, they are located. Here, this shows the top 12 countries that were analyzed. There were a lot more, but here we can already see that in, 20, in 2017, when this was Greece, Greece's black market accounted for 21.5%. And the U.S. comes 12 with 5.4% of the country's GDP. Again, this is just to give uh, perspective as to how the black market, the hub of the dark web, can influence not just the economy of the, their geographical location, but they can also influence the economy of a country or a place that is outside of their geographical location, the world at a global scale. Now, what is it that we're supposed to, we want you to go go away with? The dark web. The dark web is different from the from the deep web. And with the help of the dark web and Bitcoin, the black market is able to thrive in the in the digital world. And, pro and provide uh, their services to people all over the world, not just to people in their local environment. The dark web and the bit and Bitcoin have has also helped, have enhanced the uh, on the untraceability of the activities of the black market. As the black market, as the name points out operates under the radar and with the Bitcoin and the dark web this this makes it even better for them as it expands their environment and the area of effect thank you again for tuning in and I hope you learned something if not I hope you enjoyed it regardless have a blessed day